Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Remington 870 Shotgun Mod which is being made by user iCody. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, the Remington 870 Shotgun. And it is a pretty wonderful little piece of work and apparently this mod maker's first mod release. So there are a few things that need a little work still, but all in all it's still a pretty impressive impressive weapon mod. And I mean, come on, who doesn't like a new shotgun in the game? So let's take a look at what we do get here in the Pip-Boy, and the most standard version of the weapon here is pretty good looking, great modeling, great texturing, a decent number of modifications, but there are more on the way that the mod maker is currently working on. And as for the stats, this will do 55 damage with the standard shotgun shell with a firing rate of 6, range of 107 accuracy of 33 and a weight of 7.6. Now as for how you get your hands on one of these, it's pretty simple. You just need to go and hunt down some gunners and raiders and they will have them on them, which is always handy. And uh, yeah, you can make some fun things with this, such as a shortened version with um, glorious explosive buckshot ammo or even some sort of pseudo uh, sniping shotgun thing with a gigantic silencer on it, which just makes it look comical, and I approve. So let's take a look at what modifications we do have, and actually I need to switch over to the uh, one of the other ones to show off some of the additions. So let us head over to the weapon workbench, and take a look here at the first category here, the receivers, where we have a pretty decent number. The standard sort of things, though, from, well, standard to heavy to hair triggered up to advanced, providing you with a decent amount of damage. Now next we have the barrels, where we either have the standard barrel or a ported and shielded barrel. Now after that we have the grips, where we can either have a no grip, a stock with grip, and a stock without a grip. And then after that we have the sights category where currently we only have two things, iron sights and the OKP-7, which is a little bit awkward and I'll show you why in a moment, but there are more things being worked on right now according to the mod page, so we should see some more in there soon. And after that, we have the uh, attachments to the barrel, where we can either have a no muzzle attachment, a bayonet, a face punch muzzle brake, and a salvo 12G suppressor, which again is just comically huge, and I love that. And then after that, we do have a zoom feature. If you have selected the OKP-7, you can either have it with no zoom all the way up to a 4.5, but with the current oddity to it? I really wouldn't go past 2.5, frankly. I'll, and I'll, again, I'll show you why in a little bit here. And after that, we do have attachments that we can add if you have an accessory rail, where you can either have the accessory rail or not have the accessory rail on the front of the shotgun there. Here's the thing, though. Currently, uh, there's no attachments for either side, and now hopefully we'll have attachments for both sides of the shotgun soon, but for right now it is just blank categories, but good to have them there for the future. Then after that we can choose between either pump action or slam fire, and finally we have the ammo type where we can either have buckshot slug, explosive buckshot, or explosive slug, which will by far produce the most amount of damage and then in fact this gun is the highest I could get it up to with 140 which is pretty impressive so I do very much enjoy it so let's go take a look at this thing in action and talk about some of the minor issues with this but again all issues that hopefully will be solved in time now the first is that you may have noticed if I actually do pull the gun back out again there's not a whole lot of sound in fact there's none uh, just listen yeah, no, no sound for the cocking of the shotgun. Uh, hopefully that gets added. Uh, similarly, there is no sound when reloading. When you're firing, though... 
there you go. You do at least have a sound there, but nothing as shells are being put in. So a little bit strange, but uh, hopefully that does get fixed in time. Again, remember, this is this mod maker's first go. So, you know, a few things are going to be a bit wonky at the beginning. Other than that, though, a good usable shotgun, pretty slow rate of fire, and uh, not the greatest of iron sights, but hey... That's where the other scope comes in, which, oh, like I said, has some interesting things. It's a cool looking sight, but you, you, you can't really see through it. I mean, you kind of can. It's kind of hazy. As you can see there, you can see the tree, uh, but barely. And if you go to the 4.5 zoom, you're pretty much just staring into this lens, which is kind of... Kind of awkward. So yeah, that that um, that lens just needs to be made a bit more uh, transparent. Frankly, it, it's it's just a little bit off. But I think it could be adjusted well enough soon enough, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the uh, silence version here. Let's take some shots. And there we go, being the explosive round, it is exploding things in the distance, which is always entertaining. Really big spread on this thing, though, if you're not zooming down sight. And let's take a look at the last one here, my muzzled powerful version, which is slam fire, so it should be a little bit quicker than the last two. Yeah, I'd say it's a little bit, a little bit. And this one has the buckshot explosive ammo, which... It's just fun. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, let's go and have a little chat with Randy and Will, our usual test subjects. And as per usual, we'll do the sniping one on Will there. Oh, God, I can't even see him from here. And then Randy will get the buckshot explosions. So that should hopefully be good. Hi, Will. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really can't see him, can I? We may have to vats this. Oh, let's let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Fire! I got him a little. I got him a little more. Ah, I missed. Yeah, it's it's really really hard to see him through this. <laughs> All right. Well, it's normally pretty powerful. Oh no, he he made he made Randy run away. Oh god, Randy, you need to hold on a moment. You you have to die, Randy. You have to die. By the good gun. Uh, come back. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, explosive buckshot. It works every time. There we go. Much better. <laughs> oh, explosive buckshot is a hilariously good time. But yeah, that is really it for this mod. A few minor issues and issues that hopefully will be fixed soon. The mod maker has already made two updates to this weapon since its release a couple of days ago. So he is most definitely working on improving it. And so hopefully we will get these various little issues fixed soon enough. But even without them, it's still a pretty fun little gun. So if you'd like to have a look at it for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.